all right guys welcome back to the channel night riker here thanks for tuning in uh, it's friday night i didn't think i would be able to get a ride in because it was raining this morning and in the afternoon so but now you got the sun out i mean we've got some dark clouds back there but the weather forecast is saying no rain and you know i know better than to trust the weather forecast but it says no rain so i figure you know you got sun on one side clouds on the other it's got to be clearing up so i figured let me go ahead and take a ride i'm going to my my parents house for dinner just came back from work so i figured yes let me go ahead and sit down make sure the bike is ready to go and go ahead and uh, take a short ride to my parents place meeting up my wife and daughter there who are there already so yeah just enjoying this beautiful day it is kind of muggy today that's for sure you know anytime it rains for like an hour two hours 20 minutes three hours and then the sun comes out oh boy it is gonna be muggy humid but still when you're on the bike the wind's hitting you anyway it doesn't matter so I hope everybody had a good week I did you know the car business is a little bit down it's a little slow these days it picked up last month car business was booming again and uh, this week I guess you know can't have it booming every week but still not bad not bad auction was busy auction was busy so still sold some cars as long as we sell some cars we're in business we're in business got some jobs nice I love those Dodge charges only thing I don't like is the dealer network here uh, ever since Fiat took over their you know their dealer uh, it's just service has gone down a little bit not sure if that's just retaliation of the guys here or it can't be retaliation but I used to have a Fiat 500 a Barth now this is not your regular 500 this is one of those Golf GTI style pocket rocket 500 a Barth and I used to dread every time it was every time I had to take it in for service and if, they, if I found something that needed a little bit of extra time, it was, it was just, anyways, I don't know why I'm talking about that. I don't know, I digress. Let's come back to happy thoughts. The Riker has been doing great so far. I rode it to work a, a few days this week and, uh, and then it rained on me a couple of days, so I couldn't ride it. But rain stopped, the road seemed dry. You know, it must be, it's it's humid, but on the bike it feels pretty darn good. I must say, it feels pretty good on the bike, so... My week was uh, quite busy, so I'm hoping to enjoy the weekend on the Riker. Wow, that bike really does like to move left and right. So, a couple of people have been mentioning in the uh, comments, uh, especially my commute to work video, where people have mentioned that you know getting a the sway bar so i am interested in the sway bar it doesn't cost a whole lot it's probably surprisingly a cheap option and i'm guessing it's because the you know installation is probably going to be a pain and it's probably going to be expensive if i have to get it done from the dealer the sway bar only costs you know a hundred and hundred and fifty dollars I think that's it but my only concern is I like the ride being nice and soft 
and on the website it says it's gonna be 30 35 percent stiffer and I just I just don't want a stiff stiffer ride I just want a nice ride I mean I'm not planning on carving the canyons with this uh, well actually I, I might be doing you know I, I plan on taking it up to the mountains and carving the curves over there but I don't plan on taking this to the racetrack or anything where so I just haven't read too much about it or found a whole lot of feedback on the sway bar which uh, makes it according to the website I think 30 or 33 percent stiffer so uh, that's what I'm curious about I mean if the ride is gonna be harsher than what it is now then I would rather deal with whatever I have to deal with here I guess but I don't know if anyone has the sway bars on or know somebody who's got the sway bars let me know I know one of the viewers is uh, planning on getting one and uh, will let me know how it goes but yeah I mean just just to get an idea because there's not a whole lot or at least I haven't I haven't found any I've done a really bad job in trying to find any kind of content on the sway bar so if anyone knows let us know let us know if it's worth it or not I'll tell you what though I'm gonna get one or two more things and that those really have to do with uh, just kind of like luggage and because uh, I'm still debating between this five and a half gallon versus the uh, versus getting the sport bag you know because this thing is nice I like the shape it's five and a half gallons the opening small uh, as you saw in my last video but the thing is I can't sit straight this thing is digging into my back just so you guys know it you know I used to be able to sit back a little bit just further lean back you know I can't even sit straight this thing is just digging into my back which I am not liking whatsoever so that's something that uh, I'm just uh, not not liking so far so I might uh, get the sport bag which is a gallon smaller but it's got nice wide opening it's a smaller bag but the uh, but the opening is actually towards the edges so so that's nice I should have just gotten that to begin with but anyways alright I just have to make a quick stop at uh, the grocery store uh, there's a Whole Foods up here off of Barrett Parkway and uh, don't get me wrong I'm not I'm not rich enough to buy my groceries at Whole Foods but there are two things that I really like that uh, that Whole Food has and I haven't had I haven't seen those in other stores yet and uh, if you haven't tried their guacamole my goodness I know it's not gonna be the same in every state but you know they have this section where they have all these uh, detox juices and then you'll see uh, you know like mango salsa and guacamoles oh my god there's fresh guacamoles that are made locally so like I said the taste might vary a little bit but here at least in in, in uh, the Atlanta area uh, guacamole is amazing that's the only thing I'm addicted to. That's the only thing I usually buy up there. Everything else I usually go to Publix and Kroger's or Walmart, but not Whole Foods. They're too too rich for my blood. I'd rather spend that money on the Riker, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So anyway, wow, the clouds are it's getting darker here again. It says no rain, but let's hope the rain stays away because I really want to get a ride in tomorrow morning on Saturday you know it's not showing uh, it's not showing that it's gonna rain but I hope to get a ride in I was uh, trying to see if any of the uh, if the uh, 
spider group here, the spider group of Atlanta or Marietta are gonna ride anywhere because because uh, I haven't heard anything from them and tomorrow is supposed to be really good weather. It's supposed to be hot. It's supposed to be really hot, but it's supposed to be good weather nonetheless. So anyway, let me hop in real quick, get this, and I'll be right back. This was like a little shopping plaza with two or three shops. I didn't expect a gas station to come up here. <laughs> it's a weird location for a gas station, especially when you've got a QT this way, a racetrack a block that way, and QT a few blocks up ahead. So, man, this guy, more power to him. Whoever he or she may be trying to, you know what? Actually, I take that back. This is Cop Parkway going south. And this road is jam-packed in the morning. And uh, you know what? He's pretty smart. I'll give it to him because everybody's going south. So you have, uh, you have people going east and south. And all of the gas stations, at least before that one newly one that is being constructed, are on the opposite end. So if he can compete with the gas prices and uh, and you know have some good stuff in there like good breakfast and coffee in there oh yeah 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 he you know he will he'll do business actually what was I thinking my goodness that's pretty smart as long as he can uh, be competitive on his prices oh yeah he's gonna cut some customers off that's for sure because the next QT is at least what four miles three miles down the road before you catch the highway So yeah, very smart. Ah, very smart for sure Very smart. I hope uh, you know, I hope you do good man. I hope you do good. I always uh, support the small business. I used to be a small business owner myself once and uh, and I enjoyed my time being one But yeah, I always uh, always like to support the little man. You know what I mean? So anyway guys, I do appreciate you hanging out with me. Uh, please uh, comment down below if there's anything you guys want to know about the bike and if you have a Riker and you've done something uh, different or see that I should be doing some different or, or looking at a certain kind of accessory, comment down below. I'd love to, I, I like to respond on every, I, re I like to respond, excuse me, on every single uh, comment. So. Please comment down below, hit the like button, hit subscribe, and until next time, folks, be safe.